assembling an armored column to the north of Nova Braga Airport. Your job is to wipe them out. Listen to the tape for the contract details. Just be aware that the column's commander served with 5 Commando, who later made a name for himself in South Africa's 32 Battalion. He's a hardened veteran, so don't take him lightly. Boss, I have a report from the intel team. The targets are now on the move. I've sent the predicted route to your iDroid. Check your map. advance on another outpost. You can wait and take them all out at once, but it's a risky proposition. Yeah. 
that ship. Don't try to take down a gunship from the front. You won't win in a head-to-head -head shootout. Try to get behind it and take it down with missiles. there is why you're the best boss the one and only As we suspected, the mastermind behind the kid's escape was Eli. It's hard to believe, but apparently he'd been plotting an armed uprising against us. He could be hiding something else, too. Ocelot's gonna press him for answers. Get back here as quick as you can. have been suspended. No more uprisings for you. Did you really think it would be that easy, Commander? You'll get your boys back. Hell, even see the boss, too. But first, I need to know what you sent them to do. <clears throat> They wanted to leave. To their homelands. They wanted to go home. That's all. So they were just homesick then? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Militia warlords, PFs, the armies that murdered their families. Cousins, brothers, parents. They all had someone they wanted to kill. <laughs> I told them, last chance to face the world with no regrets. Last chance. You better be ready for your drag back here. Ready to face the world as enemies. <laughs> <laughs>
you! Goodbye, father. I don't need you anymore. really an accident or did Eli just rig it to stir up the boys either way he had to have been planning for this all along bidding farewell to the world Coming. Be able to 
send in another chopper for now. Boss, you need to eliminate the skulls. We cannot lose Code Talker.
work, boss. I'm coming in on another chopper. Get Code Talker to the LZ and wait there. Golfis is no longer in Africa. The nuclear test was a success. Now they turned the knives on me. Satellites didn't read any test. Neither did seismometers. The detonation test took place five years ago in the southern Indian Ocean. The final test was the opposite. To prevent detonation. You mean? Skullface plans to sell nuclear weapons that he retains control of. It's not like hawking small arms to militias. Indeed. He plans to avoid detection by exporting minerals containing tiny amounts of uranium in the form of metallic archaea. Once on site, the metallic archaea enrich the uranium it, loaded onto all-terrain bipedal machines. They ensure any country, armed group, even the smallest terrorist cell, can become a nuclear power. Bipedal. So that's why they needed Huey. A new business to replace the arms business. And Skullface owns the market. The very atmosphere of nukes, anywhere and everywhere, Deterrence on all sides. So that's why he ran a non-detonation test. Yes. Another metallic archaea instantly overrides the criticality generator. It fails safe only he controls. Any such weapon can be deactivated whenever he chooses, regardless of who owns it or their intent to use it. Snooks. Controlled by a man, not a country. If they proliferate, conventional nukes lose all value. Political, military, and economic. The two superpowers become powerless.
to stop the epidemic at Mother Base. About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base, what's your opinion? Textbook symptoms of vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikango strain. Meaning, a breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikango. So how do we keep them from becoming symptomatic? Use this. A type of Wolbachia. Introduced to a sample of the parasite. The parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites. Turning male to female. And preventing copulation. We must cultivate more. Thanks to Code Talker, we've managed to put a stop to any new vocal cord parasite infections. We couldn't save those already symptomatic, but everyone who survived has been released from the quarantine platform. Skullface will pay for this. Again, with the truth serum? What are those legs made of? Titanium? All the way to the femur. <laughs> Metallic Archaea. Sohelanthropus. Where is it? What? We have to know before his plan is complete. Sir Helanthropus is the final piece. W w what are you talking about? If the Soviets break out a mobile, controllable nuclear weapon... East-West relations will be right back at the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Cold War returns to life as countries without nuclear arsenals line up for what skull face is selling. Nuclear weapons proliferate overnight, and on the brink of annihilation, the world maintains its balance. But we know this is all just a shield, a ruse. The cleansing parasites are what matter most. A WMD to eclipse even nukes, and the only one that can still be used. Skullface is the world's greatest threat, and Zero's. The pieces are in place. All that remains is to unveil Sohelanthropus in Afghanistan. They can't activate it without me. Oh! 
Okay, B Zero. The Philanthropist is beyond the Soviet base camp, in a lab built by the Soviet philosophers. That's what you're looking for. But I have no idea how he's controlling it. It wasn't designed to accommodate a human pilot. Word from Afghanistan. Everyone at the Soviet base camp's dead. No sign of fighting. Parasites. Skullface's men then headed north. The target is OKB Zero. That's where he'll activate Sahalanthropus. Unless we stop him, he'll go down in history a conquering victor. We can't let that happen. Wipe him out. Don't leave any trace of his existence. I'm gonna need backup on this one. You'll rendezvous on site. Parasites. 